On Sunday, a new series of the Narnia Chronicles start. Like the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, the children Lucy, Edmund and Eustace enter Narnia from a bedroom, only this time not through a wardrobe but through a picture. In the second book, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, the adventure begins one afternoon when Edmund and Lucy are sitting on the edge of the bed looking at a picture of an old-fashioned sailing boat and dreaming of Narnia. The question is, said Edmund, whether it doesn't make it worse looking at an Onion ship when you can't get there. Even looking is better than nothing, said Lucy. Suddenly, Eustace, their smarmy cousin, burst into the room and began to tease them immediately. He never believed their stories about Narnia, but he was about to find out they were true, because at that very moment, something very strange began to happen. The boat in the picture seemed to be moving. The bow was going up and down. And there was a breeze in the room, and Lucy felt a hair whipping across her face. And then came the noises, the swishing of the waves, the slap of the water against the boat, the roar of the wind. And then the smell, the smell of the grimy sea. Lucy knew she wasn't dreaming. Suddenly, Eustace rushed towards the picture. Edmund rushed after him. Lucy tried to grab him from the other side, but it was just too late. A huge roller surged over them and swept them away. There. It was Yvette Fielding and I'm probably Peter. What are you doing aboard the Dawn Treader? I don't know and I, I don't know how I got here. Stow away. To Caspian! Ugh. Sire! What have you brought me, Reaping Chief? A stowaway, Sire. Who are you and where are you from? Um, my name's Yvette Fielding and I'm probably Peter. Yvette Fielding? <laughs> like no Narnia name I've ever heard. What do you want with us? I just want to know about Narnia. You obviously know very little about Narnia. I am Caspian X, its king. And this is Sir Reepicheep, chief mouse and lord of all the talking beasts of Narnia. I'm sorry. You've interrupted our quest to find the seven missing lords banished by the wicked King Miraz. We are in uncharted waters and no one must know of our voyage. Reepicheep, what do we do with her? Make her walk the plank, sire. Oh, no, come on, please. <laughs> I just want to go home. That's a little severe, Reaper Chief. Yvette, I can make no promises, but we can try and return you to your own land. But what can you give us to prove you will tell no one of our voyage? I haven't got anything. What are you hiding? Just my badge. Is this your ship? Sort of. Your badge? Your badge will be. Right. Oops. Neil, Yvette. By Aslan's mane, I charge you, Yvette, return to the land of Milkies. Well, I've come to Milford Haven to try and find out what exactly goes on behind the scenes of Narnia. The ship had to be specially designed for the series, and it was made by building on top of an ordinary boat. The high sides, its great sails, and the dragon figurehead were all built on. It may look like carved wood, but it's really polystyrene covered in fiberglass. It took five months to create the Dawn Treader. I met up with Jonathan Scott, Sophie Wilcox and David Thwaites. David, you're the new member of the cast. What's it like? They wind me up for a joke all yeah. the, almost all the time, but we love so does everyone. Do they play pranks on you? Oh, yeah. yes. What sort of things do they do? Nicking my camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I must ask this question because you've got loads and loads of makeup on. You've got more than I've got on. Why? Um, because we're sunburned, because we haven't had enough water. Because um, in, in the scene tonight, she used to try to steal some water because we've got a very limited amount. David, you play Eustace. Now, what is he like? I hear he's not very nice. He's That's an understatement. Eustace, apologize. Apologize to us all, the men included. I most certainly will not. You Jonathan, 
when you were in the first series, is it very different from this series? It's a lot more magical, there's a lot more adventures. Um, like in Dawn Shadow, we visit all sorts of islands and meet all sorts of people. And it's a lot, I think it's a lot more life in the story. filming for Blue Peter we take a small crew with us we take a sound recordist and a cameraman but to film Narnia it's a completely different story there's wooden paint to build scenery hundreds of costumes thousands of props <laughs> visual effects the gents and of course makeup they've even got a tumble dryer in fact they've got everything they could possibly need for their months away filming Ten at night, and time for the cast and crew to get ready for a big night shoot. In this scene, the dawn treader has been stranded in the open sea, and drinking water has to be rationed. Eustace, however, has other ideas. First, though, a few last-minute adjustments. OK, here we go, then. Nice and quiet, please. Let's stand by. Oh. Action. Ha! And what do you think you're doing? Not all the filming happens on location. A few weeks later, the whole crew moved to the TV film studios at Ealing. You all right there, chaps? Inside, the visual effects designer, Tony Harding, was trying to figure out how to fly a giant sea serpent. And this is only the half of it. The whole thing is 20 metres long. OK, hold it there. Dry them out. <laughs> the jaws open and close using compressed air, and there's a giant hose to squirt water out of its mouth. The body is made of big plastic tubes, and the serpent's skin is a mixture of rubber and sawdust. While visual effects added a few finishing bits of seaweed, the camera crew rehearsed their first shot, which involved tracking past the ship. This, believe it or not, is the top half of the same ship used on location in Milford Haven. Now it's on a hydraulic platform to make it rock. OK, here we go, stand by. Action! I swear they weren't there two minutes ago. On deck, shipmates, I smell danger! Other island! We've seen other island! Once the scene is shot, it has to be edited, have video and sound effects added. So three months later, here's how that same scene turned out. I did see them! 